welcome back. I recently have come across a few products and you know sometimes I'll bring y'all stuff when I do and um, I wanted to talk to you guys about it. So I got a, a little favorite things video like re just recently not like um, this month or anything but just you know in the last few months things that I've picked up that I like and also um, the green. I got the green stuff in here because I like that. But I was telling you guys when I did the um, the uh, coffee station, my morning concoction that I use. <laughs> so I was going to show you. I said, you know, I should have showed. But I was focusing on the coffee uh, station video. Okay, I keep these over by my coffee station. These are sold, I believe, at Target. These are um, Family Flora. These are... These are the Travelers Pro and Prebiotics is in this, right? And you just open it up and pour it into whatever you're going to be having. I normally have this with tea and um, a little bit of flavoring sometimes in the tea. Uh, the probiotic, this is the main, the, this right here, because you don't really need anything with the tea. This here has a flavor to it. This is Replenish by, um, this electrolyte replenisher. I wake up in the morning, I don't know about y'all, I don't know if it's old age, but when I tell you I am parched in the morning, does anybody else go through that in their mid-50s, mid to late 50s, let's just, I'm going to go on the late 50s side, <laughs> but mid to late 50s, is anybody else, so I take this early in the morning, and this go. this is a drink prior to coffee, because coffee is so dehydrating, that if I tried to drink coffee prior to taking this, this drink, I would be so dehydrated, so it's not funny. So, like I said, these two go in it, and then I also add the orange. Um, now, these here are Rite Aid brand. I'm going to have to find a brand as soon as I can't get it anymore. I, got, I did buy, like, three of these at uh, Dirt Cheap. They sell them for, I got this for, like, 80% off or something like that. I didn't spend $11.99. But you get 30 of these in a pack, and I still have, like, maybe two or three packs left of these. And I only use one a day. So it's vitamin C powder, and in this, what else comes in this, y'all? Um, it's six B vitamins and 1,000 milligrams of antioxidant vitamin C per serving, right? Plus, the replenish has vitamin C in it. Yeah, you know what? I ain't playing with this pandemic stuff. This is by Emer Emergency Replenisher. I got a couple packs of these when they had them at the 99 cent store for a pack of 30. So I still have a couple more packs, but I do one drink a day, and I got a bunch of these too. I get these from Dirt Cheap. Look at all of these. Plus, I got some in there at the coffee station that's out, you know, down a head out. But yeah, so this probiotic, and these have flavor, right? These have some good flavor to it, so it's not like you'll be drinking plain water with this probiotic floating through it. And sometimes I make unsweet tea, right? I make the tea, have it in the refrigerator from the night before right so when you get up you have a little bit of tea light you know no no um, additives no sugar or anything and then pour that in a glass pour these two and this in there and I'm telling you it tastes good and you will not be so dehydrated it rehydrates you and I believe that's this then the probiotic body got to, uh, can't talk probiotic and prebiotic mixed together I take these sometimes I'll even take two of these a day but I take pills too so yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all about that drink. I do this concoction, and it's been working for me. Okay, so I'll put that back. This one, I'm running out of these. I only got like another pack left. I have to find them. And because I was getting them for 99 cents, I'm going to be mad when I got to pay full price. So anyway, then another thing. I, my allergies, I told you I have very bad allergies. Got worse allergies since I moved to Texas. They say when moving to Texas was supposed to make your allergies allergies a little bit better. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all put my hand there. I had to tilt that. Moving to Texas was supposed to make my allergies better. It made it worse. I didn't have, I was nowhere near like this. So, I, I looked up, I was doing a lot of research for the, um, you know, my skin allergies as well as the chest. Like, I was going outside since the spring, spring came in. And, you know, of course, corona was in my mind. Because I was, would go somewhere and I would get a little tight in the chest. The breathing in and um, sneezing and all kinds of stuff. So, I was like, I got to do something. I found this. Queen's Magic. I got this off of Amazon. 
I will put a link in the description box if I um, can if they still have it I'll put it in there because I've had it for about a month I'm gonna reorder it and um, I'll put a link in the description box it's called Queen's Magic look it up the Queen's Magic look it up it's got royal jelly 1500 milligrams um, propolis propolis I don't know some kind of bee pollen is what it is and then regular bee pollen is in here say and it's supposed to help with allergies and when I tell you it has actually helped with allergies I promise you that so I'm ordering another one you've got to take four a day and this had uh, I think 120 pills in here so um, I had been taking sometimes I'll take four all at one time and then sometimes I take two in the morning and two in the evening so I'm playing around with what works best either way it seems to work the same so either way it seems to work the same for me I haven't had a problem then this soap right here again skin allergies I don't have it upside down yet don't ask me to say what that is but it's black soap and I ordered y'all when I ordered these off of Amazon the only way I could buy it was 12 of them I used to get these at the beauty supply store in New Jersey look at that black soap it lasts for so when I tell you this bar will last you six months if you don't keep it in the shower or let it sit in the tub and run up, you know, if you just use it to wash really quick and then put it on a drain, so you know, like a soap drain to uh, drain it, it lasts for so long. It's Tropical Naturals is by who it's by. I bought it for, you can buy it cheaper, but I got it for like $12 for 12 bars or something like that or $16 for 12 bars. I got 10 bars. I bought this like eight months ago. I got 10 bars left. This unopened. Yeah. It lasts a very long time. So, um, I love it though because it, again, has helped me with the itching that I was having. So, when spring comes in here to pollen, as soon as it touches me, whatever is here just gets me to itching so bad, you know. And um, so, that's why I was doing the probiotics and, um, you know, the vitamin C to try to boost my immune system. I don't know if my immune system was working overtime or what was going on. Um, so, and again, I will find, if I find a link to this from Amazon, so these two I did get from Amazon. And if I find the link, I'll put them in the description box for you guys. Now this, I got from Ross. And I gotta look this up. I know I'm gonna probably have to pay a little bit more for it on um, Amazon, y'all. This, and a little bit of yogurt, or um, what's the... Y'all, I can't think of the drink. It's like a yogurt drink. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Can't think of the name of it. But anyway, that with this and some blackberries or raspberries. I'm not a fan. Like, I'm not crazy about raspberries. But if I have them, I'll, I'll put it in there. Blueberries and some of this and some yogurt. You'll think you had a dessert. It's the best breakfast. Now, because now I only use plain yogurt because of the diabetes. Um, I doctor it up with fruit and a little bit of fruit and this right here. And this is a uh, flaxseed probiotic vitamin D. Now, you know, I'm on my vitamin D. I take a big dose of that, um, uh, you know, prescribed dose of vitamin D weekly. I take it in this every day. So, and normally, you know what? I haven't been having this for breakfast. I've been having this for a snack in the evening. So, plain yogurt, which I'm not a fan of, but fan, fan I'm not a fan of. But when you add this, and this is um, supposed to have like some type of a raspberry flavor or strawberry flavor or something. I don't know. It doesn't though. No, I think I just made that up in my head. But it's diet good fiber and omega-3s. And it is, I mean, when I tell you, it's good. It's good. And I take, it says you'd add four tablespoons. By adding four tablespoons to, it's a superfood type thing. You can add it, because I was adding it to my, this and my oatmeal. One pack of oatmeal, four tablespoons of this, some blackberries or, or blueberries, and mix that up and have it. But I stopped on the oatmeal until I could get my carbs under control. So, yeah, this is not bad. And this right here is carbs in itself, so mixing with the oatmeal wasn't good. That's why I stopped my oatmeal. So, um, but then your fiber is eight grams. So, wait, is it eight? Nine grams. So technically, you're only getting, what, two grams of carbohydrates with this. So I left the, the um, oatmeal alone for now, and I mixed this with just plain yogurt. And it's been good with fruit. Take my carbs out of the fruit. And then, y'all, I found this. Just got a new one. 
This is um, cooking spray, avocado oil, 99 cent store, y'all. This is by Pam. Yes, avocado oil. So I have this when I'm doing a quick stir fry shrimp or something that's stir fry in a pan. I'll spray this in there or I'll spray this avocado toast. I've been hooked on that too. Oh my God. And that brings up my next. This was at the 99 cent store, y'all. Yes. And I'm sure this is probably like $3, $4 or something at the regular store. So, hey, right? Not bad. 99 cent. And I'm loving it. Superior, no stick. And I, this is my second bottle of it. Um, I just picked it up the other day because I was just about where you can't even bar barely spray anymore. You got to turn it upside down in the pan. So I picked up another one. I should have got two. They had a couple more there. Okay, then I'm getting ready to get on the avocado toast in a minute. But look at this. Now, who has who still use these, uses these? I stopped using these a long time ago for no reason then other than I stopped seeing them really in the store. But I found this at Daiso. You know, the um, dollar and 50 cent dollar store, Asian dollar store. And um, I just grabbed another one the other day. So I said, let me show y'all this. I don't wear out my other one. But they're good for glass tables and they're good for mirrors in the bathroom. You know how you do spray your mirror and clean it. And then you just want to, yes, this is such a good, I, I love these. Let's bring these back, y'all. Because I had stopped seeing these around. So when I found it at Daiso, I went crazy over it. So I went back in there and got another one. And they, yes, the other day. Okay, y'all. Sorry about that. I had a quick interruption. But anyway, let's bring these things back. I, um, oh yeah, I was saying how when, when I went there, I saw the way that they, um, it's, they have a sign outside that says you must have a basket to enter. And they have the baskets out there. And you must have a hand basket to enter the, um, the store. And they have these carts where you can connect the hand basket. So that's what your shopping cart is. And the way, the reason why they were doing it is they only had 20 baskets out at a, and that's it at a time. They put the rest of their baskets away. So if there was no baskets, you had to stand outside and wait. If in, so if you walked in, you had to have a basket. And then as they were collecting the baskets, they would clean them and take them back out. And you had to have a mask. They didn't have any mask in, but he said they might get some next week. But yeah, so that was good. And then I wanted to talk, let me talk about the bread first. Somebody asked me on one of the comments and I didn't get a chance to answer it that day. Uh, and now I can't find a comment. I've been going back. I'm getting to each video answering all my comments. So I did, I got two whole videos done today. But anyway, somebody asked me about the, the low carb bread I was talking about. That a sandwich you could get for like 13, 14 grams. So two pieces of bread. Well, this right here, and y'all, I had actually found this, this was being sold at Dollar Tree. And I think at one point it was sold at the 99 cent store. Now, the one thing I will say, the Dollar Tree, the ones when I, that I got from Dollar Tree turned green really fast. Like that mold, I couldn't keep them. But you can get these at Walmart, at all the stores. It's called Nature's Own, right? And it says, life two times fiber per slice, double fiber wheat, twice as much fiber as 100% whole wheat. And, um... Okay, it says, our promise, never artificial flavors, preservatives, colors, or flavors, no high fructose, fructose corn syrup. Okay, so now it is 50 calories per slice, right? So, if you're watching your calories, it is bread. It is what it is. However, if you're just looking, basically worried about your carbs, it has 11 grams per slice, which is very, very low for regular bread, right? But, it has four grams of fiber so in each slice it has four grams of fiber so you deduct the fiber from your carbohydrates to get your total carb your you know your what is that net carbs or whatever what is it called total carbs i think they call it total carbs so you when you subtract that um four grams of fiber you're going to get seven grams seven car of grams of carbohydrate per slice so it's 14 grams for a sandwich but if you're going to have the avocado toast, which I've been hooked on lately, I take a slice of this. And, and is, is it the best bread in the world? Is it something you just want to grab and snack on? No. <laughs> no. Especially if you're a bread addict like I am. No, it's not. However, it, it'll make a sandwich. is good. Another thing I was reading is when you get your bread home, you freeze it. Now, this test was done on white bread, but I can't imagine it not being on wheat bread too. 
um, you get your bread home and freeze it. And then when you take it out the freezer, it's supposed to be 31% less carbohydrates. Something to do with the freezing process. And they said if you toast it, then it's even better. Now, so I'm testing that theory. I've been freezing my bread. So, but again, so it's 7 grams per slice of carbohydrates of this. And it's called Nature's Own the, uh, Live the Good Life. It's called the um, Nature's Own Life is what it is. Double fiber wheat. So here, look at this. Purple and green with yellow writing. Check it out. Look for it at Walmart, guys. So, yeah, not bad. That's what I've been using. Um, okay, so then the last thing, I told y'all that um, Tea Me Tea, I had worked with them like two years ago on that tea that I was telling y'all about. Um, they sent me out these greens, right? It's called uh, Superfood Blend, the greens, right? And so I started using it, and the first couple days I was like, mm, I don't know, I was just mixing it with water. Well, anyway, I started mixing it with some type of a fruit juice and I found this at one of the 99 cent stores I mixed this with water because again this is high in carbs this is 32 grams if you're going to have eight ounces I only take like four down four ounces of it sometimes maybe even two ounces and I will just enough to give it a little bit of flavor and then I mix tea or either water with it and some people have mixed it with uh, vanilla almond milk I haven't tried that yet I do have vanilla almond milk in the house but I just can't imagine this and this is what it looks like when you get it you get it with then when it comes your you know when you buy it it comes with one of these and this is a shaker you put the powder it comes in a powder form i'll show you and um i actually they gave me a 25 percent off gift um um code you know for you guys i'm gonna put it in the description box it's green powder like that you only take a scoop of it every day and um it is a whole meal. You only take a scoop of it. Look at the color of it. Um, but you don't take a heaping scoop. You take a flat scoop of it, right? You mix it in with anything you're drinking. You can mix it into your smoothies. Say you make um, a fruit smoothie. Say you don't have a carb issue. And you just throw fruit in and a little yogurt. And you make a, a smoothie. And you can throw a scoop of this in there. And um, you ha it's a meal for today. For that day. And, um, you know, I take it every day. 16 superfood ingredients, 100% plant-based, vegan, GMO-free, gluten-free, dairy and soy-free, um, made without fillers, additives, artificial flavors, artificial colors, and artificial chemicals. I really like it, y'all. It has matcha, spirulina, and wheatgrass, and a whole bunch of other stuff, and a whole bunch of other stuff here. So I like it a lot. I really do. And it says mix one scoop with water, juice, or add it to your smoothies. Now, I haven't tried mixing this with my, this is what I said I was going to do, but I don't eat enough. Um, maybe I'll take a half of a scoop later on when I have my uh, yogurt and my fruit. And with this, maybe I'll add it in there. It's that matcha tea that's in here. And it gives you that color. You know how you go to Starbucks and get the green <laughs> drink? Yeah. Yeah. And it's not bad. When I mix it with, I got about two ounces of this in here. This right here has been lasting me for about a week and a half. And this, I don't know if this looks like watermelon. It tastes good. It just tastes very fruity. But it says, um, guava. I think that what it's called. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. But anyway, it's good. And I mix it with that and I mix water with it. And, um, that cuts the earthiness because if you drink this in plain water, if you're a person who likes that earthy taste, like that dirty taste, like not dirty, but you know, like something of the earth, like beets and things like that, um, then you could probably drink this with water. Personally, I can't. Uh, I don't like it. I have got to be 100% honest. Uh, I don't, but I've been tearing this up. And when I tell you, I'm take, I take this right before, and I'm late walking today. I'm still getting ready to get out, but I'm not I'm not getting full sun. But I'm getting ready to go out and get a walk in now. And um, so that's why I'm drinking this now. And uh, but every day I take this about a half hour, 45 minutes before I go take my walk. And um, it's pretty been pretty good. Keeping the energy up. Now some people say it's that matcha tea that's doing that. I don't know, but my energy is good. I don't know if this is helping with my allergies too. I'm not sure. 
but I'm giving I'm gonna give it the whole try. I'm gonna order one more, and I'm gonna go about two and a half, three months taking this every day to see what my feeling is as far as um, you know, if I do feel anything different. But I will tell you this: it does help with being regular. Now, it's not gonna help with like it's not gonna give you runny looseness. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it will give you a nice passing gradually it took me about a week to get to a nice morning passing every day yeah yeah just did that so and, and i have been taking this for the longest i've been taking my this right here for about almost a year now this concoction of the vitamin c the probiotics and that it wasn't until this till i start going on a regular every day so and the metformin is not your friend when it comes to constipation so this has been knocking that out so anyway, y'all, I hope that you took something from it. I hope, tell me if you like anything, if y'all tried anything. This right here, if you can get your hands on this at the 99 cent store, if this is 10 calories per spray, right? Is it, oh no, five pumps. Wait, is it? Five pumps is a serving. 10 calories for five pumps of this. And I'm gonna say I probably would use five pumps if I was gonna stir fry some shrimp or some quick chicken or something. Slice up some chicken and do a quick stir fry in a pan. Um, you know, throw on some salad. I would use about five pumps of this so um 10 calories and any carbohydrates zero zero carbohydrates that's think that's why i started getting it my nutritionist told me about it so i picked it up from the store but now i found it in a 99 cent store happy about that i think i'm gonna go back and get another one i think i might i think i might run back over there tomorrow but yeah happy with that too so um, like I said, I just wanted to bring, I'm going to put a link to the Queen's Magic. Um, this I purchased on my own. The only thing out of this that I did get um, sent to me was this from Teamy T. And I want to say it's $39.99, but you get 25% off with the coupon code they gave me. It's $29.99 or $39.99. I can't remember. Um, I am going to order one since I got that 25% off coupon to have an extra one before that goes away. And this I did get off Amazon, Amazon, so I'll link this. If I could find this fiber with vitamin D, this flaxseed probiotic and um, vitamin D, if I could find this on Amazon, I'll put a link. I paid $4.99 at Ross, which tells me that I'm probably going to spend about five, six, seven. No, I'm going to say probably about 8 or $9 on Amazon. But, or if you could find it in there. But it's you use four tablespoons per serving, so it lasts a while. This is my last one. This is my last packet, so I gotta find something similar um, for that. Yeah. So, yeah. If I could find this stuff on there, I will put links. But anyway, y'all, thanks a lot for watching. I, this video has went way too long. Um, I put up the open invite for the May thrift flip, ten dollar thrift flip. Uh, that's going up on the twenty second of May. So, got a little over a week to get that up and out and um i put that up today so look for that video all right y'all i'm gonna chit chat with y'all later i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments and let me know if y'all tried any of these items these are some of the things i'm like really like i've brought in bulk that's what it is i like them so much i brought in bulk like i said i got 10 more bars of this like 10 because i brought 12 at the time don't do that don't buy 10 if you if i find this on amazon and they still have it. I'm going to see if I can find a single bar or maybe a two-pack. You don't need 12. Unless you got a huge family. Um, and like I said, this one too. So, all right, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.